Venezuela's electoral schedule moves forward as planned ahead of the regional and municipal elections set to take place on Sunday. The elections for indigenous representatives in eight of the nation states will take place on November 26. Our correspondent Brian Mier brings us details on the reparations and the preparations ahead of Sunday's vote. Over 356,000 troops were deployed as part of Phase 2 of Operation Republic, designed to guarantee the integrity of the electoral process and the safety of 14,262 voting centers, the candidates, the public, and around 300 international election observers from 55 countries. The Bolivarian Armed Forces will work with the Electoral Commission to guarantee Article 5 of the National Election Law. It will guarantee the safety of the voters and guarantee the safe keeping of the electoral materials throughout the entire nation. Together with the armed forces, 1,090 members of the public prosecutor's office will oversee the electoral process. In all, over half a million people are involved in the management of the elections including committee organizers, members of local electoral boards, and the technical and operational staff of the National Electoral Council. This election on November 21st represents an important event in the life of the Republic. Elections represent the moment in which citizens congregate in all of the voting centers to guarantee the principle of popular sovereignty. It is an expression of republicanism which enables the people to decide on their collective destiny. Election officials say that 90% of the scheduled tasks to guarantee smooth elections have already been carried out. Today, 18 tests will be conducted on the electronic voting system, and on Friday, over 30,000 electronic voting machines will be installed across the country. We guarantee to the electorate that these machines are only operating with the system that was installed by the National Electoral Board and that they fulfill the requirement of the legislative votes. This is why this same auditing process is so important. It gives security to the voters. International groups that have sent election observers to Venezuela to monitor Sunday's elections include the Carter Center, the Network of Intellectuals in Defense of Humanity, and the European Union, which is back for the first time since 2006 with a team of around 100 observers. So far, there are no problems with any institution. Everything is developing as in any other electoral mission. As the campaign season comes to a close, millions of Venezuelan citizens are looking forward to yet another opportunity to exercise their democratic right to vote. Brian Mir, Telesur, Caracas. And we'll be right back after this very...